Magomed Ankalov, he buzzsaws through Anthony Smith in a different way, in just a little bit of a different way, man. And I think that the big takeaway from here is that, I mean, this dude's tight. And everything that you say in the press conference doesn't mean that it's going to translate to the actual fight. Because Anthony Smith, all he was saying the whole entire time, and all respect to him, man, you got to love Anthony Smith. You love Lionheart. But what he was saying the whole entire thing, Magomed Ankalov isn't the second coming of Jesus. Um, I don't know why everyone thinks that this man is so scary. He doesn't do anything particularly fantastic. He's a very, very good and skilled fighter, yes, but um, the man's never been in a fight, and I'm going to bring the fight to him. And then what happened, AJ? The fight comes around, and Smith doesn't really bring the fight to him. And he has his back against the cage, and it just felt like Magomed Ankalov was in the driver's seat for 100% of the fight. Then you're throwing these kicks. Ankalov's checking all the kicks. The problem is Anthony Smith said he broke his leg. I'm not sure if that's true. Now, we haven't seen the scans come out or anything, but let's just say we give him the benefit of the doubt. He did break his leg. Okay, that's why you shell up. That's why you didn't throw any of submission attempts. But if he didn't, AJ, how bad does this look on Anthony Smith if there was no true fracture or anything like that? Yeah, it looks pretty rough, right? Yeah. And and I think why Magomed came out the way he did he felt a little bit of a way, man. He said, yo, I'm the, I'm not the guy. I'm not, you know, I'm basic, basically, is what you're saying. Like, I'm very uh, one-dimensional. I don't do anything special, blah, 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 all the stuff Anthony Smith is saying. I think that's why we saw the performance that Magomed did, because he came out with kind of a fire. And if there's no break from Smith, or there's no, not even a hairline fracture, there's nothing, I, it's, it's a bad look, man. It's a real bad look, because it just felt like Smith, wasn't on his game he wasn't controlling anything i mean you can go look at the time man 51 seconds of control for anthony smith really isn't what we were looking to see you know like we like we were expecting smith to come out and have a have a, a normal performance of anthony smith who's hard to put away who's hard to get one up on magomed ankalov comes in and then looks basically uh not 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 a. um you know un, unreprehensible or whatever the word is i'm looking for he doesn't look like he's you know untouchable but he did look like he was having one of the better performances that Magomed Ankalov has had in, in, a, in a couple fights. Absolutely, man. And he actually joined some rare air. If you look at the people who have finished Anthony Smith in the last 10 years, bro. I'm not even joking. Literally the last 10 years. You have a man, a man named Adlin Amagov. That was in 2011. You have Tiago Santos in 2018. And then you have Glover Teixeira in 2020, man. He joins rare air. Like, people don't just finish Anthony Smith. Like, when he was getting finished, that was early on in his career. So, to do that, was that's what I'm saying. There had to have been some type of injury for him to just shell up and not even try to fight back. Because when he, he turned his back to Smith and just like, all right, I'm done. So, Ankalov, he asked the question. The question that, honestly, should he have been asking? Yes, maybe, but Pantoja deserved to ask this question more. What do, who, what do I have to do? Who do I have to beat to get a title shot, man? You know what I mean? And Dana White was like, hold on, pump the brakes, buddy. You're, you're number four, you beat number five. You're almost there. Like, pump the brakes. I've been saying for a long time, AJ. And I, don't, I want to be, I just want to give myself some credit here. I feel like I was the first to say this. I said, Ankalov is the dark horse. This man will be a future champion. Finally, he's proven himself time and time again. The question here is, who does he need to fight to get a title shot? I mean, let's say Yuri Prohoshka rematches Glover Teixeira, which would be a very, like, rightfully deserved rematch, right? Who does he have to be? You know what I mean? Because next week, we're going to have Jamal Hill versus uh, Tiago Santos, right? So that's behind Ankalov. So it's like, does he just kind of wait it out? You know, what do you do here? Yeah, I mean, after this Anthony Smith fight, who else is there really to beat? Because like you said, he already he's taken down Santos. Uh, maybe we see a Rockic. Maybe we see uh, something like that. But I do think the Yuri versus the Glover, that, that's the one that kind of feels like I, you need to have it happen. You know, you need you need the, the Glover-Yuri um, fight, the rematch. But then after that, who? Because I, I honestly think Uncle Live can beat Rockic. I think he can beat a lot of these people up there. I, I don't I don't have the the standings pulled up. Maybe you can pull them up so we can both right check here. it out. Um, yeah, yeah, right yeah. Check it out. Much, but. Yuri Prohoshka champion, number one, Glover Deshera, number two, Jan Blahovich, number three, Rakic, number four, Ankalive. Who is left? Anthony Smith is right behind him. You just buzz him. Like who's left? Nobody. Yeah, nobody. I mean, um, who uh, who was the other one? Um, the Polish power. Have they have they fought yet? Blahovich and uh, Ankalov? Uh, no, yeah. no, they haven't fought. That, I mean, that could be a good fight for sure. That could definitely be a good Blahovich, fight. Blahovich, Ankalov? I mean, it's what else What else do it's you it. have besides Rakic? And I think, like I said, Magomed gets Rakic as well. Yeah, and Rakic, clearly, he's out right now, you know, for injury. And I don't know if you heard about that situation with Rakic and Jimmy Manoa. Jimmy Manoa slapped Rakic 
and all that. So I'm yeah. like, man, now there's additional heat. And I mean, Jim, Jimmy Manuel ain't even in the UFC anymore. So I, I, I mean, I don't know. But listen, man, this was a huge win for Ankalaev. We have to await the results of whatever the injury diagnosis is going to be for Anthony Smith because you got to feel for him too. You know what I mean? This, is, I mean, listen, man, there's intangibles. And I don't want to speak on this because it's not my place to speak on it. But we talk about it all the time. They use this as the narrative, right? Oh, his mother just passed away, da 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 da. So you just got your ass whooped. You got an injury in your leg. And now you have to process that information. So listen, man. Speedy recovery to Anthony Smith. Wish him nothing but the best. But Magomed Ankalaev is now the he's the guy. He's the guy. He needs one more win and he's fighting for a title. The question is, does he have the chops to be able to defeat a Yuri Prohashka? Is he explosive enough to defeat a Yuri Prohashka? That's yet to be seen. And I don't know if we can even give a take right now. But if you had to give a very quick hot take, does he have does he have the chops? Man, I think Yuri gets him. And maybe it's because I've been I've been praising Yuri for a long time as well since he's since really like I think first or second fight in the yeah. UFC. Um, man, a good fight though. That's that's you want to talk about the new breed of MMA fighters, the new yeah. breed that's going to be here a while. We see an Uncle Lai versus Prohashka. I think we're going to see that one three times. You know, we're going to see a rubber match coming that way because these dudes they're going to be here for quite a while. Absolutely. So let's look forward to that. But in the meantime. That was your main call.